Okay, we're in the foyer. Walk in. Storage closet needs a knob in the foyer. Electrical panel behind. There's a new door lock that may be returned. Chain lock. Another storage closet that needs a knob. That's for heating and air conditioning immediately on the left. Color of hardware is shiny brass for now. Hall closet storage. This would be for vacuums and supplies for now. Proceeding on into the little annex area, there's laundry with bifold doors. Decent looking machines and capacity storage above. Bifold doors already falling out. We see the storage. There's a cut out there for something like a water bottle, perhaps. Some storage left and right for brooms or mops. <clears throat> Smoke detector for this suite of bedrooms. Immediately to the right is guest bedroom one. Two and a half windows, pretty well lit. Has room for a king, probably better suited for a queen and a desk. Has bifold closet doors, would set up nicely. Time, nice vacuum. Back to the laundry. Next room to the right is the guest room. And two. Two windows here. Does have a workstation. Three. Nice. A little more well lit. It's on the corner of the building. Probably some nice deer views. Storage closet. We got a missing light switch here. We got paint scuffs everywhere there. Need door hardware here in the bedroom. Door hardware for that bedroom. Move to storage. This is the guest bath. Shower and tub. Nice rain head shower. Has a mirror that needs to be installed. Big room. Kind of cherry hardwood floors going into the main hallway. This will be their storage closet for supplies. Pan and left is the kitchen. We have the pantry. Nope, that's the hot water heater, not pantry. We got storage all over here. There's it for the water bottle. Stainless steel French fridge, stainless steel whirlpool. Nope, fridge there. Drip coffee maker, lots of counter space, lots of drawage storage. Pendant lighting, need two bar seats. Small oldish table may not fit in with the decor. Pendant light may need to be moved. Smallish sitting area. Yoga mats. But beautiful views. Beautiful picture window views in this living room. Lord have mercy, this place is lovely. Okay. Door access to the exterior wraparound porch. Master bedroom suite. Another door to the same wraparound porch. Three windows onto the porch. Make that four. You've got a king size platform bed. Sorry about that, y'all. Carpet in here with a nice looking wood border. Storm door on that door, by the way. No hardware on bedroom door. Bifold ginormous walk-in closet. 
has step one and then step two. So perhaps changing room and closet. Master bathroom, dual vanities, nice mirrors and cabinet. She did well. Nickel hardware, nick and brass hardware on, I mean, silver hardware on the tub. We need to check and test the tub operation. We've got a stand up shower in the corner with lots of handicap. Very good. Big old potty space and area there for magazine rack. Need more door hardware. Finally, we'll go out to the wraparound deck side of the unit. As I said, storm door so you can enjoy some breeze. So on your private deck, you've got a great view of the deer field where they gather and play. Stainless steel cable railing. Have a side bench facing kind of towards the sunset a little. But this is a unique to this unit, wraps around. So you have the commanding view of the majestic Noose River. Some seating outdoors to enjoy coffee or and sundown or beverage. Third story, so a little less susceptible to mosquitoes than lower down. Welcome to River Queen.